15 plants with big, beautiful flowers. Bush peonies with bomb-type flowers make a statement in the spring garden, but tree peonies can sport blooms up to 10 inches across on woody stems that do not die back to the ground in winter. Tree peonies like the Mrs. Fry cultivar are slow to mature, but the spectacle of a 5-foot tree peony with 50 blooms is worth the wait. Deeply divided foliage adds to the character of these plants. These fiery red poppies go by the moniker, Goliath. Oriental poppies send long tap roots into the soil, helping them establish a long life in your spring garden. Blooms in excess of 7 inches in diameter are not unheard of with happy plants. To pamper your poppies, full sun and excellent drainage are the most important requirements. If roses have not been your go-to choice for large blooms in the past, it is time to get acquainted with English roses, a class of roses developed from heirloom varieties by breeder David Austin with the goal of large, full blooms with a heavy fragrance. With petal counts of 140 or more per bloom, these large cupped flowers are vase fillers with old-world fragrance to spare. The lemon-hued, Charles Darwin and the 200-petal count, Spirit of Freedom, are repeat bloomers, yielding 6-inch flowers all season. Roses can be prone to fungal diseases in moist conditions, so give them plenty of air circulation and avoid watering the foliage when irrigating them. Protea plants lend an exotic flair to any tropical flower arrangement, and King Protea, Protea cyneroides plants produce the largest flower heads of them all. Also known as sugar bush, these South African natives may grow outdoors as evergreen shrubs in USDA zones 9 and warmer. The artichoke-like flowers may grow up to a foot across. Make sure to water the plants deeply on a weekly basis for the first two years, after this, they are relatively low-maintenance plants. The otherworldly coral shapes of Coxcomb Celosia argentia var. Cristata make it a garden focal point, but add to that the velvety texture and footlong size, and you have a staple for the cut flower garden. Coxcomb plants are easy to grow from seed, they self-seed readily, and they tolerate humidity as well as dry soil. A single flower panicle of Budlia David E may be up to 18 inches in length, with each panicle comprised of hundreds of densely packed florets. The nectar-rich flowers will attract an endless parade of butterflies over its blooming cycle, which usually stretches into four months. Beware of the possibility of rampant spreading, this plant is known to be invasive in some regions. For southern gardeners, there is nothing quite like the charm of a camellia bush in the late winter garden. For the biggest flowers, plant a cultivar of the camellia japonica species. Debudding will help you achieve 6-inch flowers on varieties like the pale pink, debutante. In the world of hydrangea hybridizing, the big blooms just keep getting better. This genus of plants has several species commonly used in landscaping, all of which are famous for having large flowers. For example, hydrangea arborescens, Annabelle, has 12-inch flower heads that are a stunning staple in many shade gardens. However, Incredible has increased in popularity, as it also blooms on new wood but its stems will not flop under the weight of rain-soaked blooms. In addition to the cultivars of H. aborescens, varieties of H. macrophylla, H. serrata, H. paniculata, and H. quercifolia are all known for their impressive blooms. The term, dinner plate dahlia, is used to describe any dahlia variety with large, impressive flowers. Most commercially available dinner plate dahlias are hybrid cultivars. If you have successfully grown dahlias in the past, your quest to grow a dinner plate cultivar like, Hamari Gold, will be easy. Like many large flowers, dahlias like more of everything, more sun, more water, more feeding. Remove side buds to enable plants to direct all energy into producing one giant flower. Stake plants for support, and expect the blooms to mature in late summer. The plants known as water lilies include about 70 species within at least five different genera. They are found across the world, but those most often sold commercially are tropical species. Most species have fairly large flowers, but those known as giants have genuinely enormous blooms and leaves. For example, the night-blooming flowers of Victoria Amazonica strive to keep up with its incredible 10-foot leaves, which can support a small person's weight. Its basketball-sized flowers only live for a few days to carry out their reproductive destiny.
hybrids of trumpet and oriental lilies, Orient pet lilies are increasing in popularity as new cultivars continually hit the market. Fragrant 10-inch blooms appear in late summer on sturdy 5-foot stems. Try, Big Brother, a pale yellow variety that lives up to its name. Like most lilies, Orient pets are best planted in late fall or early spring. In neutral or alkaline soils, watering with an acid-enhanced fertilizer will help them thrive. Red amaryllis blooms are popular during the winter holidays, but this gift plant comes in a number of colors and forms. Larger bulbs produce larger plants and flowers, so splurge on premium bulbs from trusted sellers. Double record, with red and white streaking will produce 8-inch flowers for indoor enjoyment. The amaryllis bulbs sold commercially are all cultivars derived from hybrids of various hippiastrum species, developed over many years. Amaryllis is best grown in a relatively cool room, 60 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, under bright, indirect lighting. Sunflowers may set the standard for giant blooms in the flower garden, but not all sunflowers are created equal when it comes to size. Mammoth is an heirloom variety that reliably produces 12-inch flower heads packed with oil-rich seeds. Sunzilla is a newer hybrid bred to grow a sturdy 16-foot stock capable of supporting the giant blooms. Although sunflowers are drought-tolerant, constant moisture and rich soil will yield the largest flowers. The common potted hibiscus plants are tropical species that won't tolerate even a whiff of frost, but exotic flower lovers can rejoice, the hardy mallow plant hibiscus moschudos will survive zone 4 winters while still boasting flower diameters in excess of 10 inches. Some varieties feature bronze or purple foliage to boost the ornamental value, like the gorgeous pink-flowered summer storm. In cold regions, protect the roots over winter with mulch or straw, especially when the plants are young. Only night owls will be able to appreciate the nocturnal blooms of the moonflower, which swirl open at dusk to reveal six-inch white flowers. If you nick or soak the seeds, germination may occur in as little as a week. Combine the fast-growing vines with morning glories, and you will please hummingbirds and hummingbird moths alike. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.